be here, peace. Doc. Doc, no. What's your name? What is your name? I don't start with my name. Dr. Paul here. I do? Yes. Dr. Paul here. Dr. Paul here. Julie. Is that how we start? Yes, it is. Dr. Paul, we've got a little... It is how we start. Dr. Paul here, we've got a little one who's struggling to breathe, I believe. Let's go see what's going on. There you are. I hear you've been having a hard time breathing, is that right? How long have you been sick? About a week. About a week, okay. And uh, it started off with runny nose, probably? Yeah? Runny nose, yep. Yeah. It always does, it seems like. Okay, and then I think I recall you had some symptoms, too. Um, I have a little cough, yeah. yeah. Okay, all right. And then how's it progressed the last few days? Um, you know, it seemed like she was getting a lot better. She was seemed to look like she was improving, and then just over the last couple of days, very fussy, tugging on her ears a little bit. Just not herself, overall. Okay. Oh. Some dry skin eczema and yes. all sorts of little things. So what we're hearing is a little... <laughs> One of the things I do is I count how fast babies are breathing. If you're breathing over 60 breaths per minute, you might have a need for oxygen. One. Baby. Baby. Where's the baby? Baby. Where's the baby? There's the baby. <laughs> so we got a, about a 50 breaths per minute when it's... If you're breathing one time per second, that's 60 breaths per minute. That, folks, is a bronchiolitis cough. Right? And you can kind of see little retractions with breaths where the ribs show up. They kind of light up. You kind of see with each breath, the ribs become more prominent. What I'm hearing when I listen is a little end expiratory squeak. So it's that he, he. That's this little squeak and a few little rattles, what we call rattles, which is a little bit of pneumonia. So when parents hear pneumonia, what do you do? Freak out? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> that's usually it. This is a type of pneumonia that for little kids who have bronchiolitis, which is what I'm guessing this is, it's viral and it's almost never serious. Less than 1% of babies who have bronchiolitis end up in the hospital for oxygen support. In rare cases, you can have a, a pneumonia and it's bacterial and we're going to want to treat it. So we're going to get to the bottom of this. I have the ability here to do a rapid nose swab for RSV, which is what I think it is, interstitial virus. So we're going to start with that. If it is not RSV, we're going to do a CBC, complete blood count. That's help us. Oh, that'll, that'll, that'll help us figure out. That'll help us figure out if it's viral or bacterial. Yeah, look at the yeah. cars out there. Okay. The cars. And when we swab your nose, you're not going to be happy. So I thought we would do our talking and listening before. I've already looked in her ears. They're actually both fairly red, kind of a moderate ear infection. You know, viruses can cause ear infections, but so, so can bacteria. So can bacteria. Yeah. So we're going to figure this out. There's a little Q-tip in here, okay? And this is just going to go into her nostril. All right, she will not like this. Okay. We're all done. All Good done. job. We'll be back in about 15 minutes, okay? Perfect. You think you got enough? Oh, yeah. Sorry, I'm gonna right off your finger. Oh, watch the straw. Whoop. It's okay. It's okay, sweetheart. It's okay. It's okay, babe. Let me see your finger. Should we put on your pants now? Ready? And that'll analyze. After 15 minutes, it is negative because there's not another, another line. So folks, I had this little one so upset about that finger poke. Actually, what she wanted most was that band-aid off her finger, but I couldn't really talk about what was going on in there. We had what looked like an RSV bronchiolitis, but I was hearing pneumonia, and we also had an ear infection. It wasn't the worst of ear infections, but, you know, 50-50 chance that's bacterial. Pneumonia, in this age group, probably viral, but... 
Nothing proved that it was viral. The RSV came back negative. My CBC it wasn't reassuring. It wasn't horrible, but it wasn't reassuring. So we're just going to treat her for a bacterial process. We've got an otitis media, and we've got a pneumonia, and we'll follow up if she doesn't get better. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Paul.